My father came from a, was born in 1921, so he's going to be celebrating his uh, 94th birthday this year. And he came from a little town just south of the Swiss border. His uncle, Santo Cambianica, came here to Los Angeles in 1914. He came here to work for the Southern Pacific Railroad. Like many of the Italians that came to Los Angeles, this is, that was their primary source of employer. He spends about a year and realizes, you know, what this, what I could do is I can open up a small little micro winery, like what you have these micro breweries today. So he found this small little lot on Lamar Street. We were one of 92 wineries that existed at our, the opening of our doors in October of 1917. So Uncle Santo's been in business for two years, small little operation, selling all the wine he's making to the local Italian community that existed here in Lincoln Heights, Los Angeles. 1919, this crazy little law comes about called, it's a, an amendment is passed and it's called prohibition. The winery uh, receives a notice as all alcohol brands receive and says, stop your production, stop your sales. Well, Uncle Santo was a very devout Italian Catholic man, close ties with the then Archbishop of the Church of Los Angeles, and he, through the grace of God, receives the right to bottle sacramental wines. My father arrived from Bergamo, Italy, in the mid-1930s to help Uncle Santo, this small little winery that was actually doing quite well. There were 25,000, we think, Italians, I call them registered voters, here in the general area. So our little winery supplied wines to families in what is now Dodger Stadium, Chavez Ravine, what is now Chinatown, this in Lincoln Heights, the Italian hub. Great changes occurred when uh, my mother, Madalena, came into the picture. So mom came in with these very, very strong ideas. And here's Uncle Santo, and here's dad. And my mother comes in and says, boys, we have to change the way we've been doing things. We've been this small little operation. We have to change. So mother created the first wine tasting room in the state of California, giving wine tastings in 1950. Mother also did something that was quite revolutionary, the first winery with a restaurant in the winery. We've expanded over the last hundred years to make up about three blocks of real estate and where you can have tours, and tastings, and of course enjoy mom's dining restaurant at Madalena's inside the winery. Well my core values and my values of my, of my family really begin a, a, around the dinner table because we talk about things very openly. Faith, progress, uh, vision, uh, what are we gonna do different? Uh, it's as if my mom and dad assembled this little bitty uh, soccer team of, of five people. There was no board of directors. Th this is the little s the squadra that had to win and had to endure. My parents instilled that my generation, my brother Santo, my sister Kathy and I always get along because what's good for one is good for all. And I think that's, I'd say, well, it must be because of our Italian ancestry and our Italian genetics and this pride that we have about being Italians. And so I'm thankful. And I'm, and I'm thankful for the Italian American community of Los Angeles that's given my family the opportunity for 100 years. And I'm thankful for the Angelinos of Los Angeles that I'm looking forward to the next 100 years. The Italian Americans is a production of WETA Washington DC and ARC Media in association with John Maggio Productions. Corporate funding is provided by Del Grosso Foods. Foundation funding is provided by the NEH, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, and the Annenberg Foundation. Major funding is provided by CPB and PBS.